On September 27, 2020, the server known as Bridge Scrims was created by popular bridge player Noodles.exe. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the nooks and crannies from the Bridge Scrims server. Now to fully understand this, let's dive into what Bridge Scrims is. Bridge Scrims is a Discord server where people of all skill levels can duel each other. Since these rules are private, stats are not counted. To summarize, when you play a game of Bridge, you get a tiny, tiny bit better. In our case, let's measure this in units of knowledge. So let's say every game you play, you gain 1 knowledge. After you hit Bridge Godlike, you'd have around 10k knowledge. Okay, so now you know that, let's say that you play a private game, where you gain knowledge, but not a win to your stats. In retrospect, a popular player in the Bridge community named TP here has 7,490 wins, and an astonishing best win streak of 543. What sets the great ones from the bad bridge players? It is the amount of knowledge they possess. In our scenario, when you play a game of bridge scrims, it doesn't count the stats, you gain one knowledge, but not a win. To compare, if you've won 10,000 bridge scrims games, but only 5,000 normal games, you'd have 15,000 knowledge, yet you'd be a measly bridge legend. Therefore, some players are better than others. Now that you've understood what the server is, we can take this and contrast it with today's brilliance. The Bridge Scrims Discord server has amassed a huge history behind the growth of the server. When it was first created, another Bridge Discord known as Ranked, created by Bridge player OpenEye, had already amassed popularity compared to the 1,000 player based community. In retrospect, Bridge Scrims slowly overtook it, though it took a while. An issue brought up by popular bridge content creator Bucky Bar TV was the cheating problem. Scrims wouldn't even ban people if they were known cheaters. Luckily, this issue was solved on November 6, 2020, when Noodles EXE announced the start of banning cheaters. Bridge Scrims is a game inside of a game, inside of a game, inside of a game, inside of a game, inside of Microsoft, so don't take anything too seriously or Bill Gates will eat you. The arguably most controversial issue was that of the premium and private queue. About 8 months ago, in October of 2020, the issue of premium and private queue began. The biggest problem of scrims was probably the priv slash prem drama like 6 months ago, back when there were about like 2 or 3 thousand members in scrims, says skilled bridge player vice versa, also the bridge scrims 20th month. The issue with this was how bridge applications were distributed. On your application, you could get vouchers from better players, giving you a better chance of getting in. Keep in mind, this application was on a Google form. People started begging for vouchers. It ended up getting so bad, some players were even getting banned. Some players lied, while others filled players' DMs begging for a vouch, and some even bribing players with Skyblock coins, etc. And it basically became a popularity contest, and you would be voted in by other privates says Scrims council member Zane. In contrast, the issue was resolved pretty well by creating a council. For more info on matters like these, I'll link a Google document created by skilled bridge player Skizzy, or DJ Skizzy. Do keep in mind, it is heavily biased. On November 17, 2020, approximately two months after the creation of the server, renowned bridge YouTuber Speed Toggle created a video titled Sweaty Bridge Scrims which has accumulated over 37,000 views today. Speed also made a similar video a couple of weeks later. We gained popularity through Y-tiers, YouTubers, and word of mouth, says current owner TV here. Generalizing the community as small at the time would be fit. People knew each other and words could travel fast through the mouth. As of November 18, 2020, Bridgegrams amassed a total of 1,000 members. Like, subscribe, and join the Discord. Link in the description. At this time, the overall bridge game mode was receiving more players than ever. This led to even more growth of the Bridge Scrims Discord server. Around February of 2021, bridge YouTubers spiked with popularity, such as Paris, Jurors, Pro, and many more. This also made an even bigger influx into the Bridge Scrims community. This continued for several months 
until Bridge to South became the most played duels game. Another major controversy was that of Frog Ring, created by the erratic community member Frog. This server promised a $250 USD prize pool at the end of the season. The server featured a new apprehensive bot, a better scoring system, and many competitive players grew tired of scrims. Basically, bridge scrims, but better. At the server's peak, Frog Ring reached about 1,300 members, which was a huge amount in retrospect for the bridge community. After a member, O'Nills, won, the server was deleted and the prize was never given. In the context of Frog, let's provide a background check. If you didn't know, Frog is a known cheater and is known to snipe players. For example, Frog sniped Bucky Bar three times on the account Paris. Screenshots of proof will be shown on screen. On a better note, as of May 31st, 2021, the Bridge Crimps Discord surpassed 10,000 members. To truly comprehend the mass of this number, let's look at some analytics. Let's take a look at the number of boosts. We can take the number of average boosts to take the cost, assuming no nitro is used, and predict further outcomes. On average, the server gains anywhere from 1 to 9 boosts a day. On this scale, an average would not be accurate due to the data given, so instead, let's account for all the data and average that. 2.39 is the exact, so let's round to 2. Assuming the worst, and not even counting bridge scrims will gain more boosts as members grow, if on line, let's assume the line is straight. In this scenario, by June of 2022, bridge scrims would have gained 750 boosts or $3,742.50 USD, or roughly $4,500 Canadian. In retrospect, the number of members currently would just fit in Wimbledon Centre Court in London, with a bit of room to spare. And that's Bridge Scrims in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video, and it would mean a lot if you could go down below and hit that big red subscribe button. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.